People in that crowd right there were there on the bridge during Bloody Sunday when it happened, or some of their relatives were on the bridge during Bloody Sunday. So they are there to commemorate and to represent relatives who are also a part of Bloody Sunday. And here they go. They're making the march across the bridge, slowly but surely. The president leading the way. You can see Al Sharpton. You can also see, I think that is Jesse Jackson mm -hmm. in the wheelchair. Yeah, he's holding the Reverend Al Sharpton's uh, hand. I'm trying to see who all is out there. I... Starting to sing. There we go. I'm just going to be quiet for a second, let y'all take in uh, the sights and the sounds.
Joe Biden has completed that walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, a journey that first started 58 years ago with 600 marchers who were beaten by white state troopers. They returned with the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. two days later for Turnaround Tuesday, where uh, they could not complete that walk, but they just walked to the Edmund Pettus Bridge and turned around. And then later, they would complete that more than 50-mile walk to Montgomery for the right to vote. And this was a reenactment of that bloody Sunday march. And you could hear the songs that they were singing, the, the spiritual chants that they were doing. And you can only imagine that that was going on some 58 years ago, the We Shall Overcome and other songs that they were singing and the chants and things. So yes, a reenactment. The president was able to join in that. They are wrapping that up right now. And they are opening the barriers so others can march across the bridge. This little light of mine, that was another one that they sang, the president uh, singing right along with them, walking uh, arm in arm with Congresswoman uh, Terry Sewell, who invited him to Selma today for Bloody Sunday. She also wanted him to, to see the damage left behind by that tornado January 12th. She said uh, he was here to, to see them, to feel them. and to hear them and, and all the struggles that they are facing, the struggles that were there before January 12th, and then those struggles that they have after that tornado as they work to rebuild. Ashley Bowerman is with the crowd that is now able to march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. We're going to go to her in just a moment. But uh, yes, the president has wrapped up his march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And just a few moments ago, they opened up the barriers. So all of those people who have been waiting to do the same thing could do their march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge.